Success isn't just about having a plan A. It's also about being prepared when things go sideways. Tune in as I share the importance of planning for multiple outcomes and having a plan B, which is crucial to success and be able to pivot on a dime. Welcome back to the Elevate Media Podcast. I'm Chris Anderson Yost, and today we're going to dive into why it's important to have a plan B and even plan C as you're producing a new service, uh, having a new production, or having another product that you're giving people because things don't always go to plan and so you're going to have to be able to pivot and shift. So if you have thought out some some new strategies, some new pathways beforehand, it can really help. So it's good to have your main plan, right? The the plan that we're going to use and, and focus on uh, to get the job done, whether it be helping a client, you know, uh, produce more revenue, get more sales, whether it be uh, creating a, a great professional video, you have your plan A, okay? The thing that you're focusing on, getting done for them. But nothing's perfect. Things go sideways. Uh, unexpected things happen. So you need to be able to shift and pivot on a dime. And that's why planning with a plan B uh, is important. So as you're planning out what you're trying to do, say, for example, for us, as we're trying to create a video for a client, we have a certain plan, we have a flow of what that will look like, the shots we need, things of that nature. Maybe we're not able to get to the location a day early to scout it out. So we show up and it's supposed to be outside and the weather's terrible. Okay, we're going to have to pivot and shift probably indoors so we can get some better shots. So where is there indoors that we can you know, shoot at? This is something that should have been in plan B ahead of time. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. When you have your main plan, yeah, we want to do this, this, and this, but when you show up and you can't do that, what's your backup? You know, where's your your indoor, okay, what happens if you can't get in those locations? Where's the next location you can go to? So having these things sought out, if you're providing a service to, you know, individuals, whether you're a coach and consultant, maybe you had like a, a loose outline of the process that you guide people through. But if you're doing one-on-one coaching, maybe they don't learn a specific way. So you have to shift a little. Maybe it's you have to do some videos or maybe you need to make them do something hands-on instead of just uh, writing things down or, or whatever it is. So you have to tweak it a little bit. So you need to have those kind of avenues built out so if they're, they're not learning the same way or they need a different uh, guidance or training, you have that ability to do that to get them the results still that they're paying you for. So these are things, you know, to think about. It's not like scrapping the whole thing and having a backup plan if the like business doesn't work. It's more in the moments of the services and and products. Like how can we prepare for the unexpected uh, things that we could expect could happen that we don't know if they will or not, but be prepared, right? Like the Boy Scouts say, you always be prepared, you know, for us. You know, make sure we have all our equipment. Not just the ones we, not just the stuff we think we need, but having everything. So if we have to pivot, we have a scrim and a, a diffuser. We have extra C stands. We have extra tripods, things like that. So just planning for the changes that could happen. Uh, this helps you mitigate any issues. It helps you get the job done, and um, helps you serve your clients at a higher, you know, level still compared to someone who might not plan and might not have any backup plans when things go not according to plan A. You have the plan B, C, D, things lined up to still complete the mission and get it done. So I just want to hit on that today because sometimes we we get so focused on the one thing we need to do that we forget about the what ifs or the what could happens that we don't plan for those and think about them ahead of time. And then when they do happen, we either run around frantically trying to figure it out or we just we just don't produce what we have to or what we need to and it's not good for anybody. So I hope this made you think a little bit more. I hope it kind of sparked some ideas on how you can, you know, plan for plan B C uh in your business as well. I uh, would love to hear from you if you've, you know, had any experience with that, had anything happen like that. Uh send me a message at Chris.t.anderson on Instagram. Would love to, you know, just hear about your story and what you had to do to to pivot and how you did it successfully. And I'm always looking for ideas. If you have anything you want to hear on the show, topics uh, or anything like that, let me know because uh, this is for you all, the ones who are trying to get their business off the ground, 
uh, to be full time, you know, to pil- build a team where it's not just yourself. Um, so you get more time doing things you love, um, as well, uh, along with, you know, growing the business and helping your team and those, uh, that you service. So, uh, but until next time, continue to go out there, elevate your life, elevate your brand, and we'll talk to you again soon.